Baltimore Stadium for Countdown to Craziness on ACC Network Extra as we look back a bit at last year, the 2016-17 season. Blue Devils 28-9 and overall, 15-1 and in this very building and an ACC Tournament Championship on the resume. Wendell Carter, Javin Delorier, Gary Trent Jr., Trayvon Duvall in blue, Grayson Allen, Jordan Goldwire, Marquise Bolden, Marvin Bagley the third, and Jack White in white. Remains to be seen if teams will change sides at all. That has been known to happen from time to time. And it's Goldwire. Big guys to hit that top of the key shot. Behind that three-point arc, they've drilled it a lot. Carter tries a three. And that one is good. The friendly rims of Cameron Indoor Stadium. You know, guard shooting with your big guys. <laughs> That's going to be a plus there. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter who it comes from, as long as somebody can put the ball in the basket from distance. Allen tries, no good. Bagley the rebound and the follow. Well, believe me, you miss enough. It'll be worth and they'll be trying to find their legs after the introductions that you mentioned. Goldwire for three. That one is good. You can get that from him. As a lot of these Duke Blue Devils are. See if the players settle down just a bit outside of that first TV timeout. And O'Connell hits a three from the top of the key. Tucker thinks about a three and then takes one back-to-back -back threes. So after some shooting difficulties for both teams. O'Connell driving the baseline, looking for the layup. You gotta like it, he's aggressive. The hit ahead to Duvall. Carter and Bagley, one-on-one. -on -one. Carter trying to back down his fellow freshman, the double team nice from pass. Bolden. Yeah, it's a great look. It's a good passing team, especially with the bigs. Well, and these guys are going to... Bagley, the fall-away jump shot. That one is no good. Rankovic with the rebound. Duvall in transition. Tucker is back. Duvall the finish. J Coach John Shire said this is probably the best finisher on the team. From the perimeter, but played in two straight national championship games. I mean, it's... It's amazing you see there Bagley. I mean, that's, that's going to be, I think, a lot of Duke's. The other part of this, too, obviously, is getting to see all these different lineup combinations as Goldwire gets his hand on one. Blocked from behind by Duvall. Bagley with another spin move and the finish with the left hand. Just so quick with that spin. I'll tell you what. He's trouble. He's got all the stuff, man. You got to get on that left hand and, and make him shoot that hook with that right. You can see the theme here is at the rim. Delorier with the three-pointer. Not right there. <laughs> Here's Bolden at the elbow. Goldwire. He's there. You gotta love this motion offense. Grayson Allen having to throw up a three with two seconds on the shot clock. Then he hits it. That's why you give players the continues. Absolutely. Delorier out on Grayson Allen, who finds himself with two seconds left one more time. Same result. There, Duvall, the alley-oop. Carter misses the front end. Back the other way, Grayson Allen to Bagley. Grayson saying, this is how you throw it. That helps. Yeah. 21-17 for the white team. It's a nice cut by O'Connell and an even better look. Carter with the finish. But the, the awareness being in that passing lane, Grayson dumps it down to Marquise Bolden. Working against Carter to the right hand. A nice finish for the sophomore. He made that look very easy. It's Jordan Tucker providing the defense. Marvin Bagley continues to provide the highlights. Mm. See a couple of looks at that alley-oop. And back the other way, O'Connell's made a couple yeah. good plays here, showing the outside shot. And Golden top of the key, that's no good. Deflected out by Jack White. Goldwire, the floater is good. Gerald, you were motioning for him to make that drive. It's almost like he was paying attention to what you were saying. Campus already with college to pro bodies, if you will. And Wendell Carter's a guy that you mentioned on multiple occasions in that respect. Yeah, he's massive. He's massive. Just standing next to him yesterday at practice. Fall away shot from Trent this time falls. As Blue pulls within four. Got some Duke pedigree here. The inbound to Grayson Allen. 
As Allen hits the three. Third three-pointer of the game for Grant. Trent tries to answer with a three of his own. Carter on the offensive rebound. Draws the double. Brankovic kicks it out. O'Connell thinks about a three. And Trent on the offensive glass. The guards getting in on the offensive rebounding opportunity. All this talent we've talked about, these young guys. You want your senior to come out and play well, and he has. And how about that high-low pass? We talked about Duke White as that three-pointer blocked by Justin Robinson. Got a quick shot from White on that possession. Trent shoots a quick three and hits it. Gave Grayson Allen a, a top. I don't know if they were threes necessarily. Maybe uh, after dunks. Yeah. The mid-range game. Here's Duvall in transition. Great pass. Trent again from three. Ah! Gary Trent Jr. feeling it. Then Blue has the biggest transitions high school players have to make, and it's something he looks for in guys. Ability to communicate, and the willingness to communicate on the floor. Mason Allen for three, and he and Trent are putting on a three-point exhibition at this point. I wouldn't lose. You, you, you can't help strong side <laughs> on that one. Six combined, three, and is now, excuse me, for Trent and Allen make it seven. Gary Trent letting Grayson Allen. You know, their spots aren't, aren't solid yet. Well, you called it, Gerald. Trent. And Grayson, the two shooters, perhaps for Duke, that come in with the reputation. Taking his time. Under 10 on the shot clock. Trent and Dar Grayson Allen on and on one. Delorier looks inside. What a pass. <laughs> Dribbles too many there. And it's a one-point game with two and a half minutes. I mean, these turnovers and that shot right there. Duvall. <laughs> 15 to go. Uh, that was a pretty good you better make, make that. Boards again. I mean, I, I I almost passed out because if this does not go, I can only imagine what tomorrow is. <laughs> is there a, is there a tomorrow <laughs> if mean, that doesn't go in? This is we're talking motioning Gerald. You know what's going on out there. Goldwire hits the three. That's the guy you were looking for. Yep. He can just sit there. Fight the lead at 39-38. We'll also have to call Gerald's agent because he was only bargained for <laughs> regulation. Yeah, we'll have to <laughs> talk about other compensation, no doubt. <laughs> Trent against Grayson one on one. Got an elbow up high. Delorier skied for the rebound. Oh, wow. Carter comes up with it and one. He is so for one if you're this white team here. See what they elect to do. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Racing into the paint, lefty floater no good. Bagley though with the finish just reaches out and scoops it back in. The length. About a six second differential between shot and play clock as you look at the finish yeah. by Marvin Bagley the third. These guys are so good at getting those runs where they start facing the basket. Racing is double team, throws it up to Bagley. Delorier comes down with it, two seconds to go, and Blue wins it 43-41. Gerald's calling for the foul. Bagley thought there was contact. That's tough there. That is how it's going to end.